Oh wow, that doesn't look good at all. Uh, what could I do wrong there? I guess we're just gonna have to push that back. Hmm. Okay. Let's just take this pattern and just take two off of everything. Let's see how that looks. A lot of up and down, I think, happening. We might actually want to make this look a little bit deeper, too. I could lose hours doing landscaping like this. I, I find it such a simple thing to do in Minecraft, but so satisfying. Like, once you've got everything looking really, really nice and with smooth curves, it just it really kind of sells the landscape. Yeah, that's better. A little bit straight, but it's better. So, what can we do here? I think we actually have to curve it like right, thinking right on that dirt block. We have to start going the other way. Oh no, it's no longer dirt. Crap, which one was it? This one? We'll say this one. So I feel like this probably has to be like a single thing like that. Two, two, one, one. And then we can start maybe going the other way. see how this looks. Get there. JT3 designer. Hello. Thanks for hanging out. Um yeah, that's starting to look a little bit better, isn't it? Gotta get the water in there. But once we figure that out, it should be pretty good. And then, say two. Maybe we'll leave that one as a three, but then everything else should be fine. It's actually, this is actually not too bad. It's gonna be pretty easy to fix. Not a lot that has to change. Oh, thanks, Cosmic Dancer. There we go. All right, so let's leave no block behind. I always need more glass, so having extra sand on hand is never a bad thing. So let's also fill in this water a little bit here. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so I think what we need to do is now we need to start curving it. I think the curve was actually okay. It was just a matter of making it feel a little bit more even here. Get it to go around the bend. I think both of these are probably going to have to go. I 
can hear a skeleton. I think there's one underground. Kicking around here somewhere. I feel like we should probably establish where this is going to curve to. So maybe this is the farthest point out. Eyeball this. I don't know if this is going to look good or not. No, I think we're going to have to do it this way. One, two, three, four, that way. Yeah, need to get higher. In the thick of it. Oh, you may have been shopping, Cosmic Dancer. That's good. I'm glad that the bone barn is, is getting utilized. I figured with a flower farm that you would eventually hit hit my bone barn for some bone meal. Oh yeah, that's not right at all. <laughs> Actually, that's not terrible. This curve is okay. I think we maybe need to push it just a little bit more that way. So I think I maybe was right to go to push this down a little bit. Getting there. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Let's do another three here. Then we can start to come back out. I want to leave this here just so people have access to it, but I might have to move it. Two, three, one, two. Now, if we can always sort that out a little bit later. time it's so one thing about this kind of thing that does get a little bit tedious is always having to back up and take a look so you just need to shave a little bit more off that I think we're okay other than that I'm happy with it Should be using dirt, but all of this is going to get covered in water anyway. Mm 
I don't think I really did a whole lot last time I was through here. I think I just kind of randomly went through at this level and just kind of dug out some of this stuff where I thought the, the river should be. I kind of like it being quite thin here because it makes it look steeper for that bridge. I think that works. see how that looks and then we can probably put some more water in yeah the skeleton is there there's a zombie there well there's so very few spawning spaces around the meadows that once you start getting farther south things start to pop up a lot because the caves under here are not explored at all so there's a lot of dark spots I can't tell that feels a little bit steep, but we can always change it later. But I mean, it makes sense, you know, as it goes around the bend, it's going to be eroding more on this side and, and less on that side. So the logic is there. So I say we just need to get the water connected all the way through, and then we can mess with it after that and start to build. What I want to do is build this up so that it's a quite a steep, quite a steep bank. And this shouldn't take too long at all. I wish there was a faster way to do it though. Like it, it's not hard. It's a little on the tedious side. Why is that? Probably just because of the way that this is sorted. So there is a cave down there. FYI. And I think that the other river was already here. Like we're trying to connect it up to an existing existing waterway. It's interesting that it's it's connecting behind me because I thought I would have had to put water sources along this side too, but it's going a lot faster than I thought. Maybe there's some stuff about 1.13 water mechanics that I don't quite know, which is very likely. Yeah, so like it connects, we sort of have it connecting. It's getting there. That's part of the fun. This is going to have to be fine-tuned, I think, but... I'll maybe leave that for MacCast since he'll be doing the bridge. Just about there. I think that's everything. Cool. Wow. Time to dump the old inventory. You haven't died yet? That's awesome. 
I didn't realize that, Cosmic Dancer. Speak of the devil. I'm not even sure where he came from. So, uh, dirt, let's just do this. Don't need the granite. Grass can go away. Well, we'll need some of it. And we'll put the sand away as well. Oh, the sand's full. <laughs> well, that's not useful at all. <clears throat> what is in here? Is it all sugar cane? No. Ha. This will be partly sand. You know what? I really don't care about ink sacks or seeds. I do want to keep the clay. I'm not sure what else I might have in here. There is a gravel box, I know that. That I've got some room in. Okay. Ah, I knew I was gonna pick up stuff. Stupid. Uh, so I think I think we're pretty much good. Now that the water's in, I do want to take one more look. Oh yeah, drown can sneak up at you if you're not prepared for them. They can be tricky. So there's a little bit of water problems there, but everything else, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll have to figure out what to do with that access to that hole. Um, but I like having this kind of like grassy bit here, some opportunities to do something here, maybe plant a tree. Uh, I think maybe this will get turned into something a little bit more rocky, uh, just because you will be able to see it, I think, when you cross the bridge. Um, so now we're going to fill this in, and then we have to build up the bank and get rid of this sand. Because I feel like this particular build I wanted, or not build, but this particular landscape, I want it to be very either grassy or dirty. I feel like we might put coarse dirt right on the edge coarse dirt and maybe some farmland just because it's nice and dark although the new the new farmland texture is not dark <laughs> the way that i threw those flowers you mean those dandelions these dandelions right here you mean these two dandelions <laughs> nice uh, the flower girl doing a little bit of rp in the chat room uh, what do I need here? I need just regular dirt. Probably a little bit more of it. And I think I'm okay with this being a little bit shallow, but about here is where I want it to start to be steeper. So let's get rid of this is going to be a little bit slower because I think we have to do this one bit at a time. Because I don't want to have to recount everything. We've got lots of gravel, so I'm really not worried. So I feel like under the bridge there wouldn't be a lot of grass. And we'll just do this side. I'll come back on another, maybe on my own, and do do the other side. So we got one, two. Oh, I think that was regular dirt. How long is the Citadel server? I mean, how long has it been around? Uh, about a year and a half, I want to say. A year and a half. Um, no, we're not planning on starting over when 1.14 comes out. Uh, we did not start over when 1.13 came out either. Uh, what we do is we just do a solid backup uh, and then um, update. Uh, we we didn't worry about it too... Well, we, we, we 
didn't explore too much when we heard 1.13 was coming we made it a, a conscious decision not to explore too far into the ocean so that we didn't have to travel too far for new content as a result we've got like a coral reef within a thousand blocks which is pretty cool um, but when 1.14 comes out we're just going to back up and upgrade i'm actually i'm thinking really hard about potentially moving the server to a snapshot server i don't know um how people feel about that because i like to use optifine and i feel like a lot of other people uh do as well so i don't want to to take that away because people playing on lower end machines uh might really count on on optifine so uh, we will definitely be up upgrading to 1.14 though when it comes out and then some of us just have to wait a little bit for optifine I also don't know when the next update is coming. I do a lot of, of, of content like streaming and YouTube stuff now, and I don't think anybody really cares about seeing people start over, you know? Like I certainly don't. Like I don't really want to watch somebody get geared up and like that to me is not interesting anymore. I'd rather see people do stuff end game with the new mechanics. So that's kind of where my head is at. Hopefully this is going to look good. I really haven't been haven't taken a step back yet. Cool. Welcome back, Astro Jake. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot cooler. I think at this point it's gonna get it's gonna get steeper too, so that'll be fun. Um, maybe actually, maybe at this point, what we can do is actually start to go like start to go vertical, so we can actually have both of these blocks be coarse dirt. Oops. I sure I should have another yeah another stack. Maybe even go three high. Maybe at this point it starts to get a little bit green. Makes sense. I feel like it would be cool to have like a tree overhanging this place. Kind of fun. I'm also realizing that I missed the fact that this side of the river is not done either. I think that did it. Sweet. I've seen people from Hermitcraft grow hugely just from the 1.13 update. I think that's 1.13 content though. I don't think that necessarily needs needs to be a reset. Um, but Hermitcraft was at such a state that they have to reset about once a year because otherwise the server just becomes too cumbersome. Something that I would like to see on Hermitcraft would be people pair up and do joint builds like, I feel like they could do some really massive stuff. If, like, Tango and Impulse had a base together, you know, and Mumbo and... I mean, Mumbo and Green are almost doing it this season. They've almost got a joint base. They're real... They're really close to having that be a thing. Sleep. Need to sleep. <laughs> 